Hello Malaysia, this is Jerry Ko here to welcome to another series of This Is A where I will bring you what curiosities can that can be found in Malaysian life and stuff. So today's topic, of course, we haven't been exploring any Look topics. For the dumpster and the okay. We haven't explored this series, this video series in a long time. This this is a uh, because there were no new things to be explored. But here is my sister Grace doing the stuff of peeling the watercress. This is a water no 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 this is not watercress. This is a arrow uh, arrowroot. Arrowroot is a uh, 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 brown thing. Uh, something like a potato, it lives in the water unlike the potato and it looks like that. This is the infant ones, the ones that have no leaves, yes. It looks like a yam actually in water and I'm going to show you later but let's enjoy the moment of how to peel the thing. So what is the arrow root? Arrow is a starch obtained from the rhizomes or rootstock of several tropical plants, traditionally called Maranta arundinacea, but also Florida arrow root from Zarnia integrifolia and tapioca from blah 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 whatever. China, huh? uh, yeah. So in history wise Archaeological studies in the Americas show evidence of arrowroot cultivation as early as 7,000 years ago. And of course, these arrowroots that we have every Chinese New Year uh, is from China. And I guess uh, the what you call it, the harvest of the arrowroot begins at uh, during winter, the beginning of winter. Yes. Since now is uh, today is the thirty first of January two thousand and seventeen. It's the fifth day of the new lunar calendar year two thousand and seventeen. What? Fourth day? Fifth day am I? Fourth day. Okay, it's a bad day actually. Four is a bad number. It means death. So the arrow roots, uh, it has no shape or form that resembles the arrow but it has the shape and form that resembles the root so what else is there to talk about arrow root was very popular in the victorian era and napoleon supposedly said the reason for the british love of arrow what the british loved the arrow root i've never eaten arrow root in britain before huh really Oh, okay, okay, I will change the narrative to some other arrow root. Okay, I consulted my professors in the University of Horticulture and Root Science. They say that the information on this particular, <coughs> particular Chinese root is quite lacking, but uh, you can say that it has been cooked by my family for thousands of years, generations upon generations. So it's white in color and when you chop it, it will be also white. And uh, what are we going to do with this arrow root? What kind of a way of, of uh, cooking? I will ask my mother who is a professor of horticulture and root medicine. How are we going to cook it? Are we going to cook it using soy sauce and uh, pork? Yeah, pork. Yes, okay. pork. And black sauce. Black sauce. A very simple thing. Others will show you how to actually do it, like the Chinese way, which is what my mother is now, Chinese. Any help? Uh, let's go and see the other part, which is the living part of the arrow root, which uh, my mother has famously uh, cultivated because she is a professor of horticulture. That's why she is able to grow things even in this type of climate, which is Malaysia. Malaysia is famous for its two seasons, which is fucking hot and also very rainy, like a girl's or well, 15 year old girl's activated horny vagina, very wet. So let's see here. Ah, this is the very famed arrow root. It's very, very like a unicorn. It's very rare. It's very green too. And it looks like a yam with a very small flap, uh, leaf with a very large stalk. That's what she said. But never mind. Let's see. It's so beautiful. Look at this. 
it's out of water it's like fish out of water but it's not a fish it's actually a plant or root plant or root i'm not sure which one but it looks like a plant with roots so look at the beauty of the oh my god it's so beautiful it's light too it has i think eaten or consumed most of the starch inside the root because that's what roots do they store energy and humans eat them but before we are able to get to this awesome powerhouse of of energy sugar in the form of starch well if you can't get into it then you'll propagate and become a new plant such as this one here but if they are too late that means shit happened to it and we get to snatch them before it becomes a plant then we get to eat awesome food definitely that's the power of humanity you were born a human and not a plant like that one there that means you're fucked so that's uh, this is a series this is the plant who was living and now it's a cultivation or stripping the plant off its skin and definitely it's going to be a joy ride my mother's going to cook us a master class a michelin star food which is the arrow head pork and soy sauce and this is my co-host which is Jaden here very smart fella indeed and he is going to cultivate those dragon balls he's a master at dragon balling look at him doing all these things he's going to put the one of magic through it to activate the dragon balls aka ginkgo seeds ginkgo seeds yes look at the craftsmanship of his movement he's like a japanese person but he's not there's so much tangy in there look at that the dragon and the spoon has fallen that's a part of the ritual it's like a shaman thing look at him it's so industrial so japanese so what's next, Professor Jaden? You're very young for a professor, right? Mm, yeah. Oh, cooking. Yes, I know. I can see that. There's a missile inside the Dragon Balls. And of course, the preferred uh, container for this type of uh, tradition is KFC, of course. KFC stands for Kentucky Fried Chicken. Doesn't stand for Cock Fest Chance. Well, it's time to uh, stop talking and uh, go and help my sister out with the production of roots that is okay to cook with sayonara. Oh, and, uh, next time, we'll see Master Class Michelin Star's mom here cooking. Actually, I'm going to narrate. Now, you have to put the wok on the fire to heat up the wok. What are you cooking now? I'm Oh, okay. You know, have you watched the... Have you watched the, the program, you know, uh, Nick, The Naked Chef? Starring a very young Jamie Oliver. Mm -hmm. There's always a narrator in the background, mm -hmm. asking questions. Just imagine I have a woman's voice, then I'm narrating, and you are a psychopathic ADHD person <laughs> with white skin and Caucasian blood. And an Aryan race. Did you say I'm an ADHD? Just imagine you're Jamie, yeah. Jamie Oliver. Master Chef Mum is going to like show us how to. Oh, there's some uh, rotting in the middle, but you can still salvage it because, uh, well, if you're too poor and you are what love the environment, then do not waste the life of the arrow root. It's valuable. So according to Master Chef Mummy, she says that uh, one arrow root should be sliced into four pieces. Yes, what's up? Okay, whatever. Ah, that's the true legend with super culinary chopping skills and slicing too. Oh, Professor Jaden, please. You are finished with your Dragon Balls? No, not yet. So there's a ritual here. See, what's he doing? He's uh, summoning the spirits to make or enhance the dragon balls to become more delicious with that type of movement uh, yes that's the movement of spirits yeah. <coughs> yo you want me to cook the rice for you
What time are we going uh, to start the journey to Penang? That means 11, 11 travel. No, actually one and a half. So we will be in time for what? Registration. Hey, show me the, the, the right way. The right way, one. Oh, sorry. Don't take my way so much time because you can still go and shop. Shop? Shop what? What do you want to buy in Penang? No shopping, can. Oh, can, but. Oh, you want to buy nutmeg from Galaxy? I'm not going to Galaxy. Oh. Oil from Galaxy. Uh. Is there a snuffy, snuffy thing uh, for, for nutmeg? For the oh, like, yeah. snuff bottle? Yeah. Something nice? You can go and buy from that. Ah, no, no, no. I'm just uh, asking whether yeah. there's such a thing or not. Snuffing the hell out of the nose. Looks like the air route has been toasted with oil on the wok itself, but I missed it. But never mind, it's not that important. But the most important thing is lunch is not even served at 3 pm. Never mind. What? Oh, uh, yeah, I prefer Anglia. I prefer Western. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Western herbal drink. Hey, where's the, hey, where's the drink? Yesterday I drank, but I was too tired to finish and I slept like a pig. The other side. A little bit less. Who drank a lot? Nice what? This is nice, but that that one the the drink beer drink is quite nice also. That. That's a collection of urin. Old urine that's going to be used as a spice. Uh, actually, it's a, it's, a chick, it's like a chicken stock. When you eat a food that is a urea based and smells like sulfur, you have to like uh, get the urine from the cow or the cat or the pig or the chicken. Get it until that amount and you let it rest for five, five days and you get uh, urine stock for like making curry that's urine based and other stuff. <laughs> That's my Look at the two master chefs. One is running. And the other one is going into the toilet to harvest more you mean. <laughs> so this is the master homo master chef species cooking the water oh sorry arrowroot of course it's not uh, food. This, this curry is very nice uh, very spicy but a lot of uh, potatoes more than usual as in tons of it I'll save this for tonight what no you can see you must finish now oh. Chinese New Year food. How about the satay sauce? It's not heated up yet. Okay. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. So that's it of this. Uh, this is the arrowroot, not arrowroot. Uh, yeah, arrowroot, not water chest, not water crust, water chestnuts. Arrowroot. See ya. Uh, subscribe, comment, like. Uh, if you like, if you make good comments, I'll be grateful. Good comments, huh? Bad comments, bad fool. Eh, what? Uh, not bad fool. Shadow Man! Bye bye!